Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Well, today's weather forecast kicks off a little bit differently. I wanted to show you this large global map showing you where all the moisture is. It's called the total precipitable water map. In other words, where's all the water in the atmosphere? And it's all obviously up there around the equator. Dry air marked here in orange around Antarctica, the world's driest continent. Look around New Zealand, blue here, that's the rain that fell the other day, and this is what's coming in for Friday and the weekend. But there is this dry spell here in the middle. It's a high, and it's coming in for Thursday and Thursday night, and maybe a little bit of Friday morning. It's not lasting too long. There's a small area of low pressure just out here around East Cape that is helping to pull down all this moisture, the rain that fell the other day. So it is very much hanging on around the eastern side, around Gisborne. But this high is going to push it away, so we've got a couple of, well, one day of pretty much settled weather. Friday starts to go back downhill again. And this is how Friday looks. So that big, beautiful high is gone. It's almost off the screen here. Uh, this is another area of low pressure. So by lunchtime Friday, you're back to the showers already. It's showery along the west coast. It is not a day of rain though. So you might well find into the afternoon when this weather comes through, things start to dry out. So it is not an overly bad Friday, but it's certainly not as perfect, let's say, as maybe Thursday was for many parts of New Zealand. Now into the weekend, and again, Saturday, not looking too major to begin with. We've got a few showers around, clearly, so it's not a perfect day. But as you go through to the afternoon, again, this weather is moving in, and this is the drier spell. So maybe in the morning, a little bit unsettled, but towards the end of the day, hopefully things aren't too bad. Now we get in towards Sunday, and this is where I have to point out where the main centres are. Kaitaia in Auckland in this area here, Hamilton, Tauranga, and Wellington down there. So a fair bit of wind and rain. This dark blue line means air pressure is dropping, and this is colder air also coming through. So Sunday's not a flash day, and by the way, neither is Monday big area of low pressure crossing New Zealand. So before you get too depressed, let me take this to another level and get a bit more positive. So there is a southerly through here, and yes, we do have a day of rain on Monday, but by the time we get to Tuesday, this big high out near Australia is starting to come our way. It's not perfect, but it is starting to hint that the weather forecast is going to dry out or at least become drier rather than wetter. So as you can see around Tuesday, a couple of showers brushing the east, a couple of showers in the south, but this enormous high coming through. Now let's fast forward another week now, in fact, further than that, eight or nine days away. This is next Saturday, October 7th, and here is a big high coming in towards us. As you can see, there's some wet, cold southerlies ahead of it, so maybe later on next week, there might be a little burst of cold southerlies around next Wednesday or Thursday, but by next Saturday, a week and a bit from now, in comes this big high, we hope. So it's not all doom and gloom out there. I know it's spring, it's changeable, but there is a little bit of positive news coming. That is all from me for today. We'll update you again on Friday with the very latest for the weekend. <laughs>